There are three main things that everyone needs to know about Intel's Core i7-8700K. Number one, it's an absolute monster of a gaming CPU and all around general CPU as well. Number two, it produces quite a bit of heat. And number three, it does not come with a cooling solution. So obviously the question is, can you cool this monster of a CPU with an inexpensive air cooler like the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo? Or are you gonna have to throw down some serious cash for a higher end cooling solution? The answer to this question, coming right up. First of all, what exactly is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO and why the hell should you care? The Hyper 212 EVO from Cooler Master is arguably one of the most popular heatsink and fan cooling systems on the market today, and that's because of its good overall price to performance ratio. The physical dimensions of the cooler are 120 mm by 80 mm by 159 mm, and its total weight, including the 120 mm fan, is about 570 grams. The cooler dissipates heat using Cooler Master's continuous direct contact technology, which effectively eliminates gaps between the four 6mm diameter copper heat pipes resulting in a smooth and even surface for heat conduction. The heat pipes effectively transfer heat from your CPU to the aluminum fins of the heatsink. If you're planning to install this cooler on an AMD Ryzen CPU on the AM4 platform, you will need a separate mounting bracket that you can get from Cooler Master's website, and I'll put a link in the description of this video so that you can quickly access that webpage. All right. Now that our little educational session is complete, it's time to see if this little 30 US dollar air cooler can actually manage to cool what is currently Intel's flagship mainstream CPU. We're going to test it under a couple different scenarios at both stock and overclock settings. Check this out. The bottom line here is that the hugely popular and inexpensive Cooler Master Hyper 212 EVO can in fact provide adequate cooling for Intel's Core i7-8700K at stock and low level overclock settings in most usage cases. So as long as you're not looking at shattering any overclocking world records, saving a little bit of money and going with the Hyper 212 EVO to cool your 8700K might not be such a bad idea after all. Who knew? However, on the other side of the coin, is there any real reason to have an 8700K if you're not looking to push the limits of overclocking? I don't know, leave a comment and let me know. Hit that thumbs up button because it's refreshing to know that there are still some affordable options on the market for PC cooling. And crush that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.